a YouTube user, Terry Creed, had a question about how to graph linear inequalities that have fractions in them. And the answer, Terry, is basically um, the same way you would if it didn't have a fraction in it. What you want to do is try to solve this thing for y. Get y alone on the left and everything else over on the right. And then you'll have it in something that's sort of like that y equals mx plus b form. So we can figure out the slope and the y-intercept of the line. So let's solve this for y first. I'm going to subtract 1 half x to begin with to get this x term over on the right. That leaves me with a negative y on the left. And I could put 4 minus 1 half x. I think I'm going to arrange it like this, negative 1 half x plus 4, because this is closer to that y equals mx plus b format. Now, I've almost solved for y, but not quite. It's a negative y, not a positive y here. So I have to, well, I think I'll divide everything by a negative 1. That's going to have the effect of just changing every sign here. So it'll be a positive y, a positive 1 half, and a negative 4. But when you're dealing with inequalities, there's a special rule here. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you've got to flip that sign as well. So this becomes y is less than, instead of greater than, positive 1 half x minus 4. Once we've gotten to here, we're pretty much ready to do our graphing. Now what I'd like to do is sketch in the line first. And because the, the inequality symbol is less than and not less than or equal to, I'm going to make this a dashed line because the line itself wouldn't be included in the solution. To, to sketch this line, I'm going to start by plotting the y-intercept. And when you have this equation solved for y, this constant term is the y-intercept. So if you put in 0 for x and you solve for y, you'd get negative 4. So that's a point that's going to be on this graph, 0, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. Now, this number that's multiplied by x, the m in our y equals mx plus b form, uh, is the slope. And slope is the rise over the run. So if I've got a 1 over a 2, that means it goes up 1 for every 2 it goes to the right. So I could go up 1, 2 over to the right. Up 1, 2 over to the right. Up 1, 2 over to the right. Or I could go down 1 and 2 to the left, down 1, 2 to the left. And you can see we've got our line. So let's dash this in. Now we're not quite done. We've got our line, but this is an inequality. And the inequality says y is less than. What that means is you want to shade in the area on the graph below the line. When y is less than, you shade below. When y is greater than, you shade above. So we would shade in all of this area here. So Terry, I hope that helps. That's a little bit about graphing linear inequalities.